Gasoline containing 15% ethanol is closer to coming to a gas station near you. But News 12 Shishta Begum says the current fuel from pumps, which contains 10% ethanol, is already damaging smaller engines like lawnmowers at an increasing rate. Good morning, Trishna. Good morning, Lindsay. Well, as the sun comes up, you can really see this grass is starting to grow out with a lot of the recent rainfall we've had. But people using their lawn equipment for the first time are noticing it isn't always working the way it's supposed to be. They are the sounds of summer, but some of these engines are sputtering even before they get started. Probably 90% of everything that comes in here for a repair is fuel related. At Pennington Power, workers say the culprit is the ethanol that's in your fuel. It will actually melt the rubber fuel line. It will melt the little diaphragm gaskets that pump the gas in the carburetors. Clogging the internal parts like this carburetor, which can cost up to $100 to replace. It's an issue Denard Williamson is trying to learn more about. He's spending his summer mowing his family's lawn. From my dad, told me about how water was in the gas and it tears up the engine. But the fuel he's getting from the corner gas station contains ethanol. It's hard to find a pump that doesn't have the 10% ethanol sticker. This is just one of one of many products out there that, that uh, helps treat the ethanol problem. A fuel additive that slows down the process. It keeps the fuel from separating and it helps prevent it from pulling moisture into the tank. Ethanol can collect moisture and feed off the humidity in the air. And when it sits for a long period of time, this is what you get, a clear separation. The dark liquid on the bottom is what's clogging your lawnmower's parts. Kind of worries me that uh, I have to be getting a new lawnmower soon. And if you think your new mower is immune to all this, think again. This mower was used once before it needed to be repaired. And this isn't just for lawnmowers, it's any small engines, things like weed eaters, even boats have this problem. And in May, Steel, one of the companies that makes a lot of this lawn equipment, had a recall on some of their equipment because they said the ethanol was actually distorting the fuel cap and that caused a fire hazard. Lindsay? Trishna, certainly a lot to take note of here this morning. Are they any closer to getting E15? Yeah, they do. They uh, approve the EPA approved the label for E15. We actually have it right here. It's in black and white. And on the bottom, it actually says don't use in gasoline powered equipment may cause damage. So the trick here is going to be to get people educated on not using E15 and using things like additives if they are using the E10 ethanol there. For now, live in North Augusta, Trishna Begum, News 12. Thank you, Trishna.